Well, then ten Joel's loss is mine. He's he's off he's off his rocker. Book book videos now? Now we're doing book pickups? Why, Nintendo? Why don't you just start a book channel? No. Uh, how about that? No. If you don't want to watch this, skip it. I got some novels here. I got some comic books here. I've uh, got something from Anthony Bourdain. In fact, two things from Anthony Bourdain. Now, warning, I have not read, like, any of this stuff. These are all pretty new pickups. I kind of stopped collecting books for a while there. I kind of stopped reading for a while there, but... I'm back at it, slowly getting back into reading again, and there's just been this influx of good books that I've been seeing, and especially there's this place called Village Books that uh, has really odd hours. They're only open like four or five hours a day, and that's only some days a week. But when I can go in there, I always find good shit, like The Magician's Guild, The Black Magician Trilogy, book one from Trudy Canavan. I have no idea why I picked this up, but I did... Uh, you know, it's it's rare to go to a used bookstore and find book one of a fantasy trilogy or, you know, series. And so I was like, oh, it's book one. That's pretty cool. And I read the back. It looks pretty cool. Uh, something about magician, city of undesirables, uh, sorcery, enraged girl, uh, magical shield. I mean, there's just, I, I have no idea. I just picked this up because it was cheap. And again, book one. Pretty, you just... <laughs> Especially at that store, for some reason, you, it's like everybody picks up book one, you want to try out the series, so you're always going to find book two, or like book three, but, whoa, I almost tripped on my freaking rug there. Um, there's been a few of my friends, including Roaming Dan, that have been telling me that I need to read the R.A. Salvatore books, uh, the ones that deal with Drizzt, and I didn't really know exactly where to start. I know that there are older books, and I used to have a couple of them. But I couldn't find those immediately, and I actually found this in my hometown in the Bay Area when I was visiting, but this is Servant of the Shard, and this is the Cell Sword Book 1. So this is a different series that I'm not aware of. Uh, I know, like, like I said before, I know there's an older series that I did have a couple books for, and I'm missing a few of my books, so that sucks. But I'll start here, see what I think about it, and if so, I might try to get those older books. We'll see. Not really sure what to think about that, but... R.A. Salvatore is definitely something that I've been hearing I need to read. Uh, this one came from Salvation Army, and I think I got a couple books there, but I... I mean, I guess I should have known there was a book for this, but it's sometimes funny when you find a book for a movie and you didn't know there was a book for it, and then you're like, well, I mean, I assumed there was, but I had never seen it before. And The Postman with uh, Kevin Costner is one of my favorite movies of all time and it's one of those underrated movies it was so hyped up when it came out and then it disappointed so many people it didn't make very much money but I love The Postman I love post-apocalyptic stuff and we've got The Postman novel here from uh, David Brin I gotta be honest never heard of David Brin and again didn't know this novel existed but now that I do I am excited to read it because I love The Postman so yeah and it's not very long either but yeah it looks pretty good if you've never seen The Postman uh, yeah do yourself a favor uh, watch it with an open mind and don't be put off by reviews or people saying like oh it's you know not as good as it should have been maybe it wasn't as good as it should have been but it's still awesome so anyways one of my favorite teenage uh, authors was definitely Dean Koontz. I read a ton of Dean Koontz back in the day, and I still do enjoy his re his writings. Uh, I don't visit them very often, but it's really weird for me to find a Dean Koontz book that I have not read from those earlier days, and yet here we are with Night Chills, and I know nothing about this book because it's just got his ugly mug on the back, but yeah... Uh, I'm sure there's an explanation here in the front or the back of the book, but yeah, just on based on the fact that it was one of the older ones and I've never read it before, it was an instant pickup, so I'm looking forward to this one for sure. If you've read Night Chills, let me know, and is that a good one? Most of them from that era were pretty good. And speaking of uh, kind of horror, kind of suspense type novelists, we've got Bentley Little with University. I've never heard of this one before, but I do enjoy a few Bentley Little books. I really enjoyed The Association, which dealt with a crazy homeowner association and weird fucking goings on with that. And I enjoyed The House, which was about people that were somehow linked through a house that kind of existed in multiple places at one time. 
And then there was another one that I read, it, it, something about walking. I can't remember what it's called. But anyways, University, Bentley Little. I don't know why, but this is marked down to a dollar. So, I mean, author I like. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no tears in the pages or anything. So for a dollar, definitely going for that. If you've never, uh, if you've never heard of Bentley Little, never read anything, I would definitely recommend The Association. It's just a weird trip. Good times. Uh... Okay, so this is one that I definitely have heard about, uh, watching Mike's book reviews and maybe a couple other channels. There's a couple book channels that I watch, but I have definitely heard of the Dresden Files, and I was stoked to find the very first one, Stormfront, for fairly cheap, and this is at that village bookstore that's just got a crazy selection. They're only open a little bit of the week, but, uh, yeah, Stormfront, Dresden Files, definitely something I'm looking forward to getting into. I know it's just crazy, like magic and love potions and it's chicago pd and it's just grisly murders like what the hell's going on here i don't know what the hell's going on here but i'm looking forward to finding out what do you guys think of the dresden files let me know down below uh this is an odd one because supposedly i am related to this lady um and now she's very famous because this has been turned into a star's original series it even says so right there but Diana Gabaldon with Outlander, and it's the first book. And actually, I got this from, or I guess it's the only book? I don't know if this is a, I think it's a series. But, um, yeah, supposedly I'm related to her. Uh, there are people in my family on my dad's side that have this last name. And I guess my dad figured out, or maybe it was my grandma figured out, that somehow I am related to her. Uh, but, yeah, there's a big old series about this now. So I've been curious about this. I know it's got, like... I don't know. I don't even want to try to explain what it is because I don't know shit. But uh, it's got this kind of crazy textured cover, which I really like. But yeah, I'm looking forward to checking this out because, yeah, I don't know anything about it. And that was at uh, Salvation Army. That's what I was going to say earlier. I knew there was something rattling around in my head. So these are cool. These are amazing. I had to rebuy these because uh, I think there's just a box of books that I have that went missing. I definitely am missing my Terry Brooks books, uh, I'm definitely missing those Drizzt books that I never got around to reading, and I was missing these books, so I had to rebuy them. Unfortunately, I found them with their original covers. Uh, I didn't want to get, there's like a couple different versions of the covers, and I, I just wanted the ones that I had as a teenager. I don't remember how I ran into the series, maybe a yard sale pickup, but this is Iron Brand from John Morrissey, and this is a high fantasy. You know, uh, three brothers, their dad passes, and he is basically like, you guys are kings of lands, and you need to go figure out your shit, and they're, they're trapped in this little area of a much larger world, and it's about them exploring it, and exploring who they are, and their fucking swords, and there's monsters, and there's crazy scenes with uh, stone people, and just fire, and chasms, and... All kinds of stuff that you would love in a fantasy book. Now, I'm going to admit this is not the most highbrow entertainment. This is not the most well-written. This isn't the most fucking highly advanced uh, huge story that has, like, you know, 13 novels in it that are uh, equal in value to Lord of the Rings. No, it's not. It's it's Iron Brand. It's a fucking novel from, like, the, like 70s or 80s. That's nice. I just tore the covers. <laughs> I need to tape that back on. I didn't realize it was just hanging on by a little bit, but it was, so I'm going to tape that back on very carefully. But, yeah, there you go. Iron Brand. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> so what's nice is uh, I was able to find the sequel, which I have read this one, uh, but only once, and then I lost this book. But there's a great, great mantle from John Morrissey. Again, this is nothing special. This is a pretty thin book. This is actually, this one and the third one are not very long books, but they're pretty, pretty cool. Uh, high fantasy. Again, not highbrow stuff. If you want swords and people dying and skeletons and stuff like that, there you go. And this one I found at that village bookstore, the uh, one that has, like, really shitty hours, but it's an amazing store. They have, like, CDs and vinyl there, too, and comics and all kinds of stuff, but anyways, I found this there and was like, holy shit, it's the third book, I need this, and this is John Morrissey's Kingsbane, so there you go, and I don't think I, if I did have this, it had a different cover, and I don't think I ever read it, 
I'm not positive if I ever did have this one or not. I'll have to look at the old covers and uh, see if I recognize it. But yeah, King's Bane, don't know anything about it. But John Morrissey, if you need a quick read that's fantasy and definitely has an older school feel, you know, without dipping into a lot of this newer type fantasy. Yeah, good stuff. All right, moving on. This is actually for not only me, but uh, for my stepson, because he's starting to get into reading uh, chapter books, as he likes to call them. But, uh, yeah, I read this when I was a kid, loved it when I was a kid, and I thought it'd be nice for him to read it. But, uh, I'm gonna reread it myself, and that's The Indian in the Cupboard by, what, Lynn Reed Banks? Yeah, Lynn Reed Banks. How do I remember that? Anyways, Indian in the Cupboard, uh, kid gets gifted a little medicine cabinet type thing and a special key. A uh, key happens to fit in the lock, and things that get put in that cupboard come to life, and yeah, this is about an Indian in the cupboard. Uh, probably should be named Native American in the cupboard, but you know, this was like the 80s, maybe 70s, maybe. I don't even know when this was written, actually. Uh, 1980. Hey, all right, there you go. But if you never never read the Indian... God, I can't talk. <laughs> good time to do this. If you've never read The Indian in the Cupboard, it's a really good book. Uh, you know, it's for younger audiences, obviously, but it's a fun, it's a fun story. I like the story, you know? This was a cool find. If I had ever seen a cool find, although a lot of people don't remember who the hell Gru is, but Gru the Wanderer, or later on I think it was Gru the Adventurer, this is like a graphic novel-sized comic book of Sergio Aragones, Aragones? Um, silly sword slashing adventure that gets in tons of trouble. Uh, he's kind of a weird, like, anti hero, and it's hilariously drawn. The stories are exceptionally stupid. Uh, the guy that wrote this used to write for, like, Mad Magazine and Mad Books and stuff like that. That's why his name is probably so familiar to you, but yeah, Gru, good stuff. And this was like, I feel like this is like eight bucks. I was like, yeah, hell yeah. So, pretty stoked about that one. Got two more things. And uh, this one's cool. I started to read it just a tiny bit. Looks dark as shit, but I couldn't really tell you much about it. I just got this really recently. But Anthony Bourdain is one of my heroes. May he rest in peace. He was just absolutely, absolutely one of my favorite entertainers. And I just absolutely love that guy. And his death still saddens me to this day, but at least there's some stuff that's come out. Uh, but anyways, this is Anthony Bourdain's Hungry Ghosts with Joel Rose and comics top horror artists. But yeah, this and it's got five recipes in here too, but it's a hardcover, graphic novel, amazing art. Um, just really, really neat stuff. And I can't wait to, actually I'm gonna start it over because it's been a little while. When I got, as soon as I got this, I read a couple pages and then it's been a few, I don't know, it's been like a couple months since I got this. Man, I don't remember when I got this, but I read a couple pages and I already forgot. But uh, yeah, I need to get to that. I need to stop reading when I'm drinking, but Anthony Bourdain's Hungry Ghost definitely looks really freaking cool. It goes along with my hero, the sushi one. I have a sushi one too. And speaking of Anthony Bourdain, we've got the last one. This is the definitive oral biography by Lori Woolever, and we've got Anthony Bourdain's definitive oral biography and there's just a bunch of people that talk about everything to do with Anthony Bourdain lots of stories and stuff and my dad got me this actually for I think my birthday and he sent it to me he lives in New Mexico now but he had like gone somewhere and found it there and there's some pretty cool pictures of Anthony Bourdain in here too so I mean it's just it's it's neat to see Bourdain stuff still surviving and uh, I think he's like a hero to many people and, and an inspiration to many people so definitely looking forward to reading this but uh, yeah thanks dad so that's it uh, what a weird episode I don't, I don't know if any of you guys stuck around for this if you stuck around as usual give a yeehaw in the comments let me know what you thought have you picked up any books lately have you read anything good lately was this a dumb idea it doesn't matter it's still getting published but you can let me know I mean, you can let me know maybe I won't do it again by the overwhelming negative response but, but on the other hand if you guys like stuff like this I can definitely show more books off because I buy books a little bit more often now so uh, yeah let me know subscribe more game stuff coming thanks for watching you guys rule keep rocking the retro games novels metal toys whatever thanks for watching